Okay, I have all of the ingredients assembled here. I have two and a half cups of pretzels. I'm supposed to have, I think, what is it? One pound of strawberries that have been hulled and sliced. Nope, one and a half pounds, sorry. And I have one eight ounce package of cream cheese. Actually, I bought the, the low fat variety just because I'm trying to cut down on you know some of the fat in this dish. I know it's not going to be a, a really a low fat dish, but any little bit helps. And you know, I don't really like fat free cream cheese all that much, though I do eat it sometimes, but um, low fat, I, you know, I really don't taste that much of a different difference between that and real cream cheese. So in this case, I think it will be fine. We're just going to give it a try. And uh, I'll let you know how it tastes, of course, once this is finished. And then we have the, what is this, six ounce uh, strawberry jello. Of course, the kind with sugar, not the sugar free. And we have uh, the original Cool Whip. This is eight ounces and we have three quarter cup of sugar. And we also have one stick of butter. So I'm gonna get to slicing these strawberries. And then when I come back, I will start to make this recipe. And before I start slicing the strawberries, I meant to tell you guys that you are supposed to crush up these pretzels. So this is gonna be your crust. So you're gonna crush them up with a mallet. Very, very easy thing to do. Two and a half cups. I put these in a plastic uh, bag, like a you know gallon size bag. Very, very easy to do. Just turn it over and try to get the pieces as small as you can. Okay. Alrighty. And the recipe calls for one and a half pounds of hulled sliced strawberries. So it doesn't tell you how many cups. I wish it did. So I have a little scale here and it's, it's almost one and a half pounds. It's close enough. So I'm going to pour these into this uh, large cup here that I have. It holds about four cups. And so that I'll know for future reference about how many cups this is. So this is actually, it holds four cups. So it's actually a little over four cups. I don't know if you can read that or not. Yeah, four cups. So I'm, I'm guessing that it's probably about five cups at least of sliced hulled strawberries that you need. So, you know, I know some of you don't want to go to the trouble of weighing these on a scale. So I'm just trying to make this easy for you. About five cups of strawberries sliced. Here we have our jello. This is six ounces. This is like a big box. I think it's six ounces. The bigger box, not the smaller box. And we're going to add two cups of boiling water to this. And then you are going to stir for two minutes. You want to make sure that you stir it thoroughly for two minutes so that all of this jello powder dissolves. You don't want any bits and pieces that are not dissolved. Okay, so I have my timer set for two minutes. I can already feel this beginning to get a little bit stiff. So make sure that you stir it thoroughly for two minutes. You want all of the powder to dissolve. You don't want to have any any undissolved bits and pieces, as I've already said. And then after you've finished, you want to set this aside. So I'm not going to record myself doing the whole process for two minutes. I just want you guys to get the idea. And the next step is to add, well, after you have melted your stick of butter, which I've already done that in a saucepan, I melted the stick of butter unsalted butter, by the way, and then you want to add the sugar and you want to add the pretzels. I'm using a metal spoon, which is probably not the best thing to do for this kind of pan, but in this case, it's okay. You just want to stir in the sugar, have it dissolved. This is how you make your crust. It's very simple. That's what I'm doing. Okay. 
yummy, right? No, not really. Not, not in this state. It's going to make something yummy, but right now it's not yummy. Okay, and then you're going to add the pretzel bit, Brits, and then you're going to spread this evenly into a nine or 13 by nine inch baking pan. And here are my pretzel bits, the crushed up pretzel that I did earlier. Okay, yummy. Okay, I'm gonna spread this around the bottom of a baking pan to make the crust. And then you're gonna bake it at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes. Okay, and here you see that I have made the crust out of the crushed pretzels and butter and sugar mixture. You know, you want to press this down in the bottom of a 13 by 9 inch baking pan like what I have here. And I did spray it first before I put in the, the pretzel mixture just because I think that that will help, um, that will make it so that it won't stick. You know, because it's a little bit hard to get out of the pan if you don't use the cooking spray. So I think that that's beneficial to use the cooking spray, but you don't have to if you don't want to. If you don't like cooking spray, you know, use whatever you like or don't use anything at all. Just, you know, you can try it out and see how it works for you. Okay, so you want to make the crust. You want to spread this pretzel, butter, and sugar mixture evenly. You know, as evenly as you can. It doesn't have to be 100% perfect, but you want to get it even. And it's going to be delicious. When you taste this, you are going to love it. The combination of sweet and salt together is just heavenly. The next step is to take the cream cheese and to add the remaining sugar and soften that, which I'm doing right now. Just gonna combine that. You get the idea. I'm doing this with one hand because I am holding my phone with the other hand, which is not that convenient, but it's not that hard to do in this case pretty simple. See how it's nicely blending together? There we go. Now you get the idea. And the next step is to fold in the tub of Cool Whip. There's the Cool Whip. It's empty, as you can see. And just fold that in. Um, don't beat it. And then you spread the mixture over the pretzel crust that you ha have made. The mine is uh, still baking in the oven, but it's about to be ready in a few seconds. So I'm going to pull that out of the oven and I'm going to spread this over the crust. Okay, we are getting near the end. So I have my crust here that I've created using the pretzels and the butter and the sugar. I have the cream cheese and Cool Whip mixture on top of that. And the next thing to do is to add the strawberries to this jello mixture. Oops. You know, I'm trying to do this with one hand. There must be an easier way. Okay. A little bit messy. I already had the sli strawberry sliced up earlier. Okay. So you want to add the strawberries to the jello mixture. And then you're going to pour this carefully over the pie crust. So when I come back, that will be done. I'm going to use both hands. Now we have the dish assembled and I'm going to refrigerate this. It says two to four hours. So we'll know when it's ready because it will be congealed. Okay. This is what it looks like. Okay. And here we have the final result here. Let's see. This is congealed enough. Oops. I didn't cut it exactly down the middle, but that's all right. So I'm gonna cut it into about, mm, it's gonna be about eight slices here. Okay. I wish I had done a better job here. I mean, cutting it. 
I'm sure it's delicious. All right, let me put a slice on the plate. And here we go. This is what it looks like. And it is so, so scrumptious. Absolutely delicious. Of course, it's not really a salad in the true sense of the word. It's more of a dessert.